Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Beauty A to Z project pan. I was like, which project is this? This is a Fantastic Ladies collab project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. And for this project, we select one product for each letter of the alphabet. So 26 products total and try to either use them up or meet a certain goal by the end of the year. So I have three things I could roll out this month super exciting. One was a usage goal and two were items that I finished. So super exciting. Let me share with you what those were. The first one is the Ulta Beauty Sweet Grapefruit Moisturizing Body Wash. And this was for the letter U and I loved this. I will 100% repurchase this. It smelled so good. Oh my gosh. So good. I hope they have not changed the scent because this was just Yummy, yummy, yummy. Loved that. And then the second item I finished was for the letter Y. And this is the Youth to the People Macqui and Acai Prickly Pear Goji Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. So it's this little deluxe size sample. I finished this up. There's a little bit hanging out there, but not, just, I can't get to it. I enjoyed this. I think I have one more of these samples, but I don't think you to the people makes this anymore. I think they moved on to a different oil, but this was a nice oil. I did. I did enjoy it. And the item that I met my goal on was the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Fastlane. So it is this item here. And my goal was to use half of this and I did. This is all that I have left. I feel like I used more than half, but I think it's just because of the, the tip is longer. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like there's not that much left in here, but I measured it like a hundred times and I was like, well, that's according to my thing. It says that this is half. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But anyway, I will probably put this in a another project. I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon, but I really did enjoy this. Love this formula. They have a duo of this formula coming out for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and I may have to pick it up. And I think that was for the, I didn't say that was for the letter N. So let me share with you what I have still remaining and how I'm doing on those things. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 items remaining. I'm going to look at my notes so I don't make sure I don't forget anything. So the first item is for the letter C. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Pillow Talk. So it is this pencil here. My goal is to use half of this. I'm sorry, a third, use a third of this. And I made great progress last month. So I'm super excited because I was kind of slow going on this pencil, but it's great for this time of year. And that's what um, Pillow Talk looks like. It's such a pretty lip liner. Love this one. For the letter D, I have the Derma Doctor KP Duty Scrub, and it's this here. I am slowly working my way through this. I don't think I can make a new mark, but this is how much I have left. So I feel like there's pretty decent amount. The last time I used this, I did hit the bottom of the jar. So it's, it's close, it's close, but you can see I still have quite a bit left. So for the letters I'm not mentioning, those are all rolled out. So I'm done with those. For the letter G, I have the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. So here is the packaging and I have one more use on this and I'll be done. I used it today and I, yeah, one more use and this will be done, which is so exciting. I'm hoping that I can use this in the next couple of weeks and get it out. Ah, so exciting. For the letter H, I have the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Muse. So here is this shade. This is beautiful. It is what I'm wearing today. I do have it topped with Tarte H2O Gloss and Salt Life but this is a gorgeous liquid lipstick. Gorgeous. I love the color. The formula is actually not that bad. I, I mean, it's drying, but it's not super dry. It's a liquid lipstick that I can do. And this is how I'm doing on this. What the heck? <laughs> 
So I finally was able to see a bit of a window. So that's super exciting. I've probably only used that, what, like six or seven times, but I do enjoy the formula quite a bit. For the letter I, I have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser, and it is this item here, and you can see my line here. This is where I currently am, and that's where I was last month, so steady progress on this. I do enjoy this cleanser. It's not a holy grail for me, but I am enjoying it. Okay, for the letter K, I have the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. So here is this. I didn't make that great of progress last month. I was having some challenges with my skin when I came back from the beach. It was textured. And I think it's it was a combination of my retinoid, my tretinoin, and the Paula's Choice 20% Niacinamide, which is a big jump from what I was using before, which is a 10%. I think those two together were just, to start them at the same time was just too much for my skin. So I've stopped using the Niacinamide and I'm just getting my skin really comfortable with the retinol first, uh, retinoid first. And once it gets to a like it kind of heals itself, then I will go back and incorporate the niacinamide, but I'll do it more like a couple of times a week versus every day, which is what I was doing. So anyway, this didn't get as much love because it, it does have a chemical aspect to it that I think would, it would have irritated my skin if I had used it more than it already was. So I didn't really want to use it this, that frequently, but I did make some use. So at least we got some, some usage on it, which is great. For the letter L, I have the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. It's this typical packaging. And this is the highlighter. I think everyone knows what this highlighter is. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, it's still, I can still wear this now. And I, I am, you know, I do have does not want to focus on my face. Stop focusing on my face. My camera is being funny, but, um, <laughs> you can, you guys see my camera so the settings changed for some reason it wants to focus on my face. But anyway, my goal is to flatten the dome on this and I feel like I'm getting there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the, the dome is flattened, but I just figured I would keep this in this project. I would keep this around in this project until I'm finished with this project just to see how much progress I can make on this. So I may see if I can find a photo from like the first update and include that here just to show the difference of where I was and where I am. So for the letter R, I have the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Sassy Mauve. So it's this typical Revlon packaging. And here is the shade. Oh my gosh, my camera settings are all off. Sorry guys. And here is the lipstick. And I did make pretty decent progress on this, if I remember correctly, hold on. I made progress on it, which I think is the important thing. Yeah, I did make, I didn't make that great of progress. I made some progress on it, so we're moving along. My goal is to use a third of this. So it's more than what I normally do for bullet lipsticks, but you know, at least I had some consistent use on it. I just didn't use it at all in the month of June. Okay, so for the letter T, I have the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in Frosé. So this typical packaging for the pots. And then here is the product here. So I do have a dip going. It's not anywhere close to pan, I don't think, but I'm making my way down there. Hopefully I can hit pan by the end of the year. For the letter W, I have the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer Plus Serum. 
So it is this item here. I, this is pretty top heavy. I feel like I'm close to being done with this. There's still plenty of product in here. So that gives you an idea of the consistency of this. It's a nice serum. I do enjoy that serum quite a bit. I think I have a backup of this as well. For the letter X, I have the MAC Single Eyeshadow in the shade Ho! Ho! And this is how I'm doing on this. I've been using this a bit more in looks like this, where I'm using a purple shadows. And so this is a really beautiful eyeshadow. It's a beautiful, like, taupey, mauve shade. Great crease shade. Oh, love it. Love it. And the last item is for the letter Z. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Amaze. I used this once, I think, maybe twice. And so still no pan. <laughs> it's a beautiful shadow. But yeah, still no pan. So there's that one. I did use it recently in a look I did with my Lorac palette and I used it as a topper and it actually worked really well for that so I'm probably going to continue to use it in that way moving forward because I don't currently have anything in projects that is a topper for that palette that would work if that makes sense so I don't have anything glittery to go on top so that is my update for today no cats they're all snoozing. They did not want to come in here. But hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Look at that. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I am here today to do my update today. Hopefully there was no lipstick in my teeth.